used to see. Welcome to Watch Mojo, and today we're counting down our picks for the songs you didn't know were written by Drake. Played out on the dance floor. Hanging with some girls I never seen before. For this list, we'll be looking at other artists' songs you probably weren't aware Aubrey Graham had a hand in creating. Which of these Drake penned hits surprised you the most? Sound off in the comments. Don't run. Party next door. As one of the biggest stars to come out of Canada, Drake has used his powerful position to open the doors for other lesser-known Canadian artists deserving of a platform. One of such performers was Party Next Door. This Mississauga-born rapper joined Drake's OVO Sound record label as its first signee. Drake lent his penmanship skills to the artist's second album, Party Next Door 3, helping to craft its second track, Don't Run, though he's not credited on it. He says she wanna come to Toronto, she wanna come to the six side. As two artists who visibly represent Toronto, the lyrics are chock full of references to the Queen City over a killer psychedelic beat. Touch road, hit rings, then blow, could you? Drake also recorded a reference version of the track, which leaked online years later. Send a message to my Instagram. I been that girl, Melanie Fiona. Before he became the global phenomenon that he is today, Drake was part of a music collective in Canada called the Renaissance. The group also included Toronto singer Melanie Fiona. As Drake's solo career started to take off in the early 2010s, so did Fiona's. When he's calling your name out, when he needs you back in his life, cause he's got some secrets and all of them came out. Her debut album spawned a number one R&B single and earned her a Grammy nomination for Best Female R&B Vocal Performance. For her sophomore album, The Six God penned I Been That Girl alongside producer T Minus about being cautious of a toxic lover. You wanted to talk to him, but he doesn't listen when he's played enough games. The song combines the dramatic and confessional style of Drake's lyrics with Fiona's evocative flow to create a slow burning RB jam. Tell you to stay, but you wanna go, I know. I know, cause I've been that girl. R.I.P. Rita Ora featuring Tiny Tempa. After breaking through as a featured artist on DJ Fresh's UK number one single, Hot Right Now, Rita Ora was in need of hits for her debut album that would establish her as an international pop star. She would find one such hit in her 2012 collaboration, R.I.P., with British rapper Tiny Tempa. Hit em all, switch it up. The song, which was co-written by Drake, was originally intended for Rihanna, but she ultimately passed on it before it was handed to Aura. The dubstep-influenced R&B tune sees the singer stake her claim over a guy she's developed a liking for. I do it big, I shut it down, I wonder if you be able to handle me. Unfortunately, his current girlfriend misses out. R.I.P. became a critical and commercial success that gave the singer her first number one single as a lead artist. R.I.P. to the girl you used to see. I'm single, Lil Wayne. The long-lasting relationship between Drake and Lil Wayne has been extremely fruitful over the years. After the then-up-and-coming singer signed on Wayne's Young Money Entertainment label in 2009, they'd go on to create beautiful music together. I'm tired of the hoop and holler. I'm about to take the coop to Collins. In that same year, Drake penned this down-tempo rap track that appeared on Wayne's ninth solo mixtape, No Ceilings. Drake's fingerprints are all over the track. Its slow and stripped production and hard-on-my-sleeve lyrics were both singled out and praised by music critics. We both say we single and we both lie. Even at such an early point in his career, Drake's pen game received a stamp of approval from those he still considers his mentors. Unthinkable, I'm Ready, Alicia Keys. Released as the fourth single from Alicia Keys' 2009 album, The Element of Freedom, this sultry, down-tempo ballad was inspired by Keys' relationship with her now-husband, Swizz Beats. To craft the song's lyrics, the Grammy-winning singer-songwriter teamed up with Drake. He injected sentiments about his relationship with his young money label mate, Nicki Minaj. The 
the collaboration proved to be a success as Unthinkable I'm Ready became the biggest song on the album. It ended up topping Billboard's R&B hip-hop charts for 12 consecutive weeks. Drake was later featured in a remix of the song. Me, I haven't changed much. You know how I play it. Better safe than sorry. Instead of searching for substance at every single party. While some critics preferred the original, his introspective verse managed to capture the essence of this poignant R&B classic. You ask me, I'm ready. Before we continue, be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. You have the option to be notified for occasional videos or all of them. If you're on your phone, make sure you go into your settings and switch on notifications. Father Stretch My Hands Part 1 – Kanye West Kanye West's 2016 album The Life of Pablo was a polarizing record, from its controversial lyrics to the continuous alterations. Nonetheless, it's still regarded as one of the best albums of that year. Part one of the two-part single, Father Stretch My Hands, was composed by a host of lyrical geniuses including Kid Cudi, Chance the Rapper, and Drake. Beautiful morning, get a sun in my morning, babe. Drake's contributions to West's catalog were not limited to this track alone. He also co-wrote the Nike diss track, Facts, and the lead single, Yikes. While Drake and West haven't always gotten along, it's clear they can make memorable tracks when they work together. I just wanna feel liberated, I, 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 I. Do you agree with our picks? Check out this other recent clip from WatchMojo, and be sure to subscribe and ring the bell to be notified about our latest videos.